John back here? Yeah. This over here at this point? Yep. It's right there. Okay. Here we go. And action. <laughs> I find that so extremely offensive, and the only word you can say to the manufacturers and the shareholders of the company is shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Mark, hold it right there. Shame on people that produce that trash. It's child abuse in my judgment. I don't like it at all. Mark. About two months ago, I saw the video game Night Trap for the first time. It is a sick, disgusting video game in my judgment. There's the drill. That's the guy with the drill. Yeah, that's the must, guy with the drill. But... We mustn't catch him or we don't see the no. gratuitous violence. It's an effort to trap and kill women. For the first month or so, I would see Tom and I would say, there is the evil man that made Night Trap. And he'd say, there is the evil man that made Night Trap. But it was a joke for a while. Then, then the joke started getting serious until uh, a friend of my family's called me and said, hey, did you know Captain Kangaroo came on TV today and said that Night Trap was a bad game? The danger arises when the subject of the software is of a violent nature. And that's where it got very serious for me, because I loved Captain Kangaroo. Well, I mean, God, it was on the front page of USA Today. It was on the front page of the Washington Post. It was on the front page of the New York Times. It was so new, it was so revolutionary at the time that it first came out that it was ideal fodder for somebody who wanted to use it as um, a political hand grenade. <laughs> Your bullets can't hurt me. And when we see the new generation of video games, and especially Night Trap and several other examples, in my judgment, they've gone too far. You're the only one that can save me! My son and I, Tyler, who's 11 now, we went to rent a movie. And um, the gentleman said to me, he says, hey, you know, Dana, um, they took your game off the market. And I said, what? why? He said, well, obviously, there's a bunch of controversy behind it. And I said, oh, really? And that's how I heard. <laughs> It's not violent, you know, in any sense. They don't, it's not violent, it's not gory, it's not anything like that at all. And the object of the game is to save the girls that go in for the slumber party. Way to go, Control, I knew you could do it! Our state of mind um, about creating some horrible, frightening thing. So, you're the troublemaker. It was really, how many Augs can we trap in the house? The guy from the New York Times called me and he said, we hear these terrible things are happening. And that was like one of the first phone calls I got, that these games are really violent and people, you know, are really up in arms about them. And I was saying, have you seen Night Trap? Oh, they're the Ox, by <laughs> God. Evil Ogs. They are evil. You can just tell by the way they're hopping along. I'm afraid the Ogs aren't our biggest problem. The horrible sex and violence scene is in the bathroom. Right here, X marks the spot. This is where Elisa gets it. She is in a nightgown, so I guess this is the scantily clad part. And there's, you know, an og in the shower. I mean, it was funny. You could, you could hear people laughing on the set because it is. <laughs> I don't see why it would be titillating. I had on a spaghetti strap nightgown. It was, it was cute. It was peach. I think it had a little flowers here. <laughs> The whole sort of reason for having that thing that goes around the neck of the, of the kids that get nailed was to make it something that was sort of so fantasiacal and something so non-replicable that there wouldn't be any chance that anybody could mistake it for reality. Ooh, so scary. A controversial scene. And this is actually the reason why there's ratings on video games now. We prefer self-regulation to government regulation, but make no mistake about it, we will move ahead if you do not. The one good thing that came from Night Trap is that it created a rating system for titles. I flew to Washington to go to these hearings. In the morning of the hearings, um, they announced to us, they told me, gee, you know, we're really sorry. Thanks so much for coming. We're really sorry. but." Uh, we decided that there isn't any time to hear your testimony today. 
And then at some point in the hearings, Dorgan is reading from, he says, yeah, and it's a shame Mr. Zito couldn't be here to defend this horrible filth that this company is putting in. I said, uh, Senator, uh, I am here and I'd be happy to talk about it. Uh, you're out of order. Just, you know, be quiet back there. See, see, these people are crazy. That I actually did see TV reports that the object of the game was to kill and rape sexy co -ed. There was absolutely no sex. Sex? I mean, unless, unless you're attracted to l large, dark objects that go like this, there's, there wasn't any. Wait, wait. Hey, uh -oh. you see where he she just bumped into? Good Lord. It's gratuitous, the sex. <laughs> At the end of the hearings, I walked up to Lieberman and I said to him, Senator, um, have you ever actually played this game? And he said, I don't have to. This is filth. And I think that Night Trap was kind of thrown to the wolves as, as bait. Like, here, have this one. I want to state that Night Trap will never appear on a Nintendo system. Obviously, it would not pass our guidelines. You know, when all this TV coverage was going on, I was on a TV show, and when I needed the Night Trap footage, it was a Nintendo that was like, oh, we'll send it to you. Howard, I owe all the sales of Night Trap to you. Want to sell something to 16-year-old boys? Get it banned by Toys R Us. You know, you can't keep enough of them supply at the warehouse. I've had some controversy in my life, and I just found it interesting that there was some controversy behind this also. <laughs> But it's like this dark cloud, you know, that just kind of follows me. <laughs> you know, I have this horrible feeling that 20 years from now, somebody's going to call me and say, Jim, we, we, we want to do an interview, you know. Uh, and I'm going to say, great, you know, is it, is it Wirehead? Is it, is it this new show? And, no, Nitra, the classic, the great, the great, you know, we want to get the behind the scenes of Nitra. Yeah, I'm going to be pulling this stupid binder out, <laughs> you know, every five years going, yeah, well, we had a lot of fun. Thanks. Nice <laughs> 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 Tell these guys to stop bugging me!